Welcome to this Just for Soft Report video tutorial series. This video, we're going to demonstrate on how to group your fields to display in each row. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. Start with, uh, as you recall last time, uh, we created this report starting from, uh, from the styles. And also, we also create the time format for this one. So if you watch that uh, previous video, this is the sample output. Okay, so this is the sample output wherein we customize the style and the date format. Now this time, we're going to proceed with the next one. So in this section now, is we're going to create a group. Uh, group of common field because right now as you can see uh, we can group this accordingly so for this demo I'll prepare to, to to group by order date because this time as you can see we can group this by date because right now we have this date 15 17 18 and 21 so we can customize that to go in per row so that's the target for this one so let's begin we start with, I'm going to right click this section here and click create group. Okay. Then from our create group, okay, pick the group of that particular field. So for this one, I'm going to select this order date and hit next. So make sure you select also these two here and click finish. Once you pick the group, so this will auto uh, select here. Now, how can we group this one? Since we pick the format, which is the uh, the date field here, so we need to place this under the sections of that group. So notice we have this group one, group header one, and also group one, group header footer one. So let's say going to rename that just to make it a good group. So let's say going to change this as group date. Okay, so that's a good one. So right now we have now renamed that as a group date. So what we need to do is we need to move this field here and place that under under this section here. Okay. So let's say I'm going to once we move that here, okay, I just keep it this way and I'm going to click uh, preview so that you can see the difference. Okay. Now this is what happened. So upon moving this to group, as you can see, this uh, forms the information within that group. See? Now, okay, now that we know that this one's already form a group, so we, we will need to customize this now. To do that, so I'm going to move this order date and put it here. Okay. And the product ID. Okay, I'm going to put it somewhere here and the quantity. And this one. Okay. So let's let's check first. I'm going to enhance this one. Okay, there are some sections here, like this one, group date, uh, group footer one. We can remove this as well because this one is not needed anymore. So I'm going to delete that. Okay, so this will keep everything as it is. So let's try. And there you go. Okay. But we have still a problem here. As you can see, this is grouped by date. But for some reason, because of the, well, like this one, this is grouped by age. Should be, this should be belong in one group. This is day eight, and this is also day eight. The reason this happens because when we create the group, we simply forget that this is also formatted 
by time. So what it does is it will group according to what's the implementation here. So this is combination of date time. So to fix that, I would suggest to clean this up. I'm going to make this as default date so that we can group this accordingly like this one. Okay. So unlike this one, there are group belong to one group. So for me to fix these uh, issues here, just for this demo, I'm going to go back here. Then pick the, okay, if you remember the date format, we need to customize that again. So selecting the fields. So we need to go to this field section. Then click the order date. Okay. Instead of timestamp, okay, as you can see, the R class is uh, class timestamp. So instead of class timestamp, I'm going to check uh, change that into date. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to go back to our field, then customize this expression as well. So to do that, from here, select this text field. Then I'm going to edit that expression. Okay. So in this, uh, instead of this format, I'm going to remove the format here. Uh, but before that, let's try this first. We'll see if that works. Because right now, we just group them according to the field. So see, let's check first if that uh, is still working. Uh, let's review that. Okay, same goes. After we change the field, as you can see, this displays the blank uh, name and time here, or the hours, seconds, and minutes. So that's the reason we need to clean up the group. But still, this already okay, as you can see. You can see it's already grouped by date that we required. So this one, like this one, the 8, 18, they're already grouped. And same goes here. So I'm going to clean this up here. So to do that, let's go back here in our design and going back to our expression. Then we're going to remove these hours, minutes, seconds. Then click finish. And let's try again. And there you go. Okay, so right now, good so everything now is on group fields now you can still further customize this one as you can see i just put these uh header details for this group in here so we can uh, arrange that because right now i just put it in here so let's try uh, move that to this corner let's say here and then i'm going to move this a little closer Okay, and preview. And there you go. Okay. Okay, good. So that's it, guys. Now that we demonstrate on how to groups, so watch our previous lesson from, from the styles to here. And all this approach here, you can apply on your existing report. So that's it. Okay, if you find this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And see you guys on the next video series. Cheers!